What's up guys? How's it going? Um, today we're going to get you all set up so you can save your Altair charts um, as a file. Uh, but before we install all the necessary packages and stuff, let's take a look at some of the errors that you might get if um, you don't go through this process. Okay, here's a file that I previously created. I'm going to make an Altair chart and then I'm going to try saving it to file. And actually in a future video, I'll be going over all the syntax here and explaining what each part of it does. But for purposes of this, I'm not going to worry about it, so I'm going to run this first command. Let's actually run all this over here. Okay, here's our Altair chart. Pretty nice, just a simple scatter plot. And now we want to save it. Um, so if everything works out great, then we should have this test iris PNG file afterwards. So if I run this, we get a nice, fat, colorful error. And it says, saving charts in PNG format requires the Altair saver package. So if you haven't gone through this process, that's one error that you're most likely going to get. Okay, so let's go over to the class website. Oh, here's all the other videos I've made. Um, here in the introduction project, if we go down to our readings, definitely do the readings. Please do the readings. Um, saving Altair charts. This is going to walk us through the process to get us all set up. Okay, we're going to scroll down here. So, like that error said, we need pip, we need Altair Saver this package. So we're just going to copy that, and we're going to run it in our terminal or command prompt if you're on a Windows computer. Um, and there's two ways to get the terminal in VS Code. You can either hit Command J or Control J if you're on a Windows. Or you can simply just drag up here from the bottom. And there's other ways too, but I think those are probably the most efficient. Okay, I'm just going to paste that pip install Altair Saver. And since I'm on a Mac, uh, it prefers pip3 because Python 2 comes with Mac computers. Anyways, if we run this, it should install pretty nicely. Okay, oh, my head's in the way. Okay, looks like installed. I'm going to clear that. So now that just kind of empties the screen. And actually, I'm going to hit Command J. So let's try rerunning our code to see if we get a new error. Um, to restart the Python terminal, you can just hit, I'm going to hit X first to clean it up, and then this green restart button. So now it's refreshed. I'm going to run this code again. Okay, there's our chart. Let's try saving. Oh, it worked. Okay, so most likely you're going to get an error. Um, I think that it's still working due to I already had to set it up and yeah, I didn't uninstall everything I should have. So typically you'll get a, a big error that says um, you don't have some like dependency or package that allows you to save as a .png. So sorry about that, it didn't work, but you're probably going to get an error. If you don't, then you're all set up. I mean, you don't need to do anything else. Okay, but the next step is we need to install Node.js. Let me just click on that link, and then since I'm on a Mac, I'm going to go down here to Mac OS, and then I'm going to install through this Mac OS installer, but if you have Homebrew and you know what it is, definitely just use that. It's a lot quicker. Okay, and then we want this one on the left, 14.15.0. We'll download that. I think this downloads pretty quickly. Yeah. We'll open that up. Okay, continue, continue. I agree. Yes. Install. Put in my password. Um, I think this installs pretty quickly, so I'm not going to pause the video. I'm just going to let it go through. And the reason we need Node.js is because Altair is actually written in JavaScript, so we have to download some packages to get it actually saved out. Okay, it looks like it was put in our path, which is good. We can close that and move that to trash. If we go back to the website. Um, okay, the next thing we need to do is install these three packages using NPM. So we can just copy this. 
Oops, I didn't highlight any of it. Copy that, open up our terminal, Command J, Control J, um, paste that in there, and run that. Okay, and this is what it looks like when it's installing. This one takes a little bit longer, so I'm gonna pause, and then I'll come back when um, it's done. All right, it's done installing. Um, I can clear that again, not necessary, but okay. Um, let's go back to, oh, I moved my head. Okay, we're back over here. So it looks like we're actually all, everything's installed that we needed to. So just the Altair saver, I need to install Node.js and then install these three packages. Now it looks like we can try saving and you'll probably need to restart um, your window over here or you might even need to exit out and come back into Visual Studio Code. Um, and then if you run all of it, it should work. And you can tell the code ran once there's a number here instead of this spinning asterisk. Okay, and it ran. Um, and then I should be able to see this test iris PNG here in my folder structure. And that's our chart. Okay. So yep, it looks like our installation was a success. If you ran into any issues, um, I'd recommend spending maybe 30 minutes trying to debug it. Um, it's good to be able to figure out how to fix things on your own. And then if uh, you spend more time on that, then it's just not worth the ask TA or the professor. Uh, but I hope this was helpful, um, and I'll see you next time.